I felt like I was robbed, you know, like other people have fathers. Why don't I have my father in my life? That would pretty much sum it up for me. Roy Smith grew up never knowing his father, an open wound even after he became a minister. There were times um, I was very uncomfortable, especially as a, as a pastor. Um, you know, when it's Father's Day and you're encouraging congregations to, to spend time with their father and, you know, there's like something missing. But a business deal gone wrong was about to connect Roy with his long lost father. The church board decided to purchase their own building. They didn't qualify for a loan until Roy was introduced to a broker who said he could get them a loan. He said whatever building we found, he would definitely be able to help us secure a loan. Um, through uh, financial institutions that primarily supported churches. Roy and his congregation were ecstatic as they purchased a church building. But one day, Roy received a phone call from the FBI. He was charged with committing fraud. His attorney took a close look at the loan paperwork and discovered the broker had inflated the church's assets to get the loan. Roy had not caught the lie. I was left holding a bag. Um, my signature was on loan applications. Roy was sentenced to 15 months in prison. I said to myself, God, you can't be letting this happen. Roy was taken to prison. When I arrived at the prison, I sat down with one of the counselors who was going over orientation with me. He begins to tell me my room assignment. And when he mentioned the name of a person in the room, I, I almost did a double take um, when he said Roy Milton, because Roy Melton, you know, I lost my dad. When he was finally escorted to his cell, Roy realized that his cellmate was indeed his father, who was in prison for dealing drugs. It had been over 20 years since they had seen each other. On the inside, I felt like a six-year-old little boy. I think I, I just, I, um, I think in, in my mind, I, I just, I just wanted to touch him. I was scared. I didn't know if I hated him, if I loved him. I didn't know if he hated me. I had repressed all of that stuff for so long. I wasn't 100% sure this was a good thing. One day, he noticed his father's newspaper clippings. They were all of Roy. He knew stuff about me when I was in the newspaper for high school accomplishments and um, when I got married and, and even the case on, on why I was sent to prison. So he was aware of what was going on with me. And all of these years, I, I felt that he, he not only did not know, but he did not care. When I came across the article of him opening his uh, first church, you know, I mean, it was like um, a father's pride, you know. I, I mean, even though I was in jail, you know, it made me walk around with my chest stuck up. Over the next few months, Roy and his father began to develop their relationship. Eight months into his prison sentence, the chaplain asked Roy to speak at a chapel service. He asked his father to come. His father refused. It was something that kept pulling me. Kept saying, go, go, come on. You know, and it's like, I don't know, grab my hand, pick me up. And took me. At the end of the service, the chaplain asked Roy to give an altar call. Normally when the chaplain would give an altar call, you know, it was, no one would come forward. Most of the inmates were very private people. So any type of public acknowledgement of anything really wasn't the norm. Um, it's something that you just didn't do in front of the other inmates. So I'm doing an altar call, not expecting anyone to respond. This Sunday was different. When I looked up and I seen somebody coming towards the front and it was my dad when I saw the the tears streaming down his face I knew that he was giving his life to the Lord God made me come to terms with myself he opened that gate and he let me out that's the beginning of my freedom I hugged my dad and I began to weep for the first time I felt a real connection that our, our connection was a lot deeper um, going forward it was an awesome feeling a few weeks later, Roy was released from prison early for good behavior. His father was released in 2009, and their relationship is completely restored. Roy has written a book about their journey and what God has done in their lives. All things do work together 
we're good. And my love for God is stronger now. Um, my commitment to the Lord is stronger. Um, and my life, I couldn't imagine my life any other way now. Um, I thought I was living before and, and I, I think I've only just begun to, to really live um, in that you know, abundant life that is promised to believers.